First at six tonight, crime involving young people in Memphis. It's a hot topic in Memphis and the surrounding communities. And now the problem is also sparking heated discussions in Nashville. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock and I'm Greg Hurst. House Speaker Cameron Sexton says he's hearing from people in the Mid-South who are sick of the problem, calling on District Attorney Steve Mulroy to make some changes. And the speaker also floated the idea of impeaching Mulroy. Tonight we're hearing from the DA. Here's WREG's Shay Arthur. Tonight, two teens are looking at charges after they're accused of robbing a McDonald's and crashing into a Memphis police cruiser. The wild scene playing out on the streets of Memphis yesterday. It's cases like this Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton says he's hearing about. When I talk to business owners, residents of Memphis and Shelby County, people invested millions of dollars as well, um, even uh, uh, pastors, there is a problem in Memphis with crime. and. Uh, uh, we need we need law enforcement in the judicial system to their to do their job. Sexton says Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy needs to take action. He's impeaching District Attorney Mulroy on the table. Well, I mean, the, the bar is high. If you cross that bar, then it's a possibility. Um, but the bar is high because, as I said, you have discretion. Um, and so you, you have to be derelict in your duty. But also said, is it possible? Yes. But, you know, can you do it right now? I don't think he's gone to that level yet. Today, we asked DA Mulroy about Sexton's statements. He says he's confident the speaker isn't actively trying to impeach him. I, you know, look forward to meeting with him. I was talking to his chief of staff today. I believe I'll be meeting with uh, with him in the near future. But acknowledged. Juvenile crime has been a problem, has been a rising problem in Shelby County for a number of years before I took office. He says his office has increased the number of staff in his juvenile prosecution unit. They've also created a special unit to address vehicle thefts and burglaries, as well as enter a partnership with Juvenile Court and a Nashville organization that uses restorative justice practices that has seen success in reducing the repeat offense rate. At the end of the day, the only way we're gonna tackle this problem is if we work collaboratively. And that means all the local agencies in Shelby County working collaboratively, and it also means us collaborating with the state and we need to not be pointing fingers at each other. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Now at this point, it is unclear exactly when Mulroy will be meeting with Sexton's team. We'll certainly keep you updated.